Redfield live. Why, oh, why the fuck you, you got to tell me I'm going live? Guess what, motherfuckers? I'm already live. I'm living. Shotgun LAPD can't do shit to me. When I was 18 and I was sick of my dad calling the cops because he had called the cops on me three times, unjustifiably so, because I didn't do shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to teach this motherfucker the ultimate lesson. I'm going to teach him LAPD ain't shit. They're not the ones to call when you're power tripping. Because they'll come over here and kill me. So I was like, all right, when these motherfuckers come, I'm going to jump on them. And they're going to shoot and kill me in my father and mom's living room. Luckily for me, my mom came. She convinced me to leave before LAPD came. But... At 18, I was already like, fuck this shit. Wasn't afraid of nothing. And was going to teach my dad the ultimate lesson. And ever since then, I figured like I've been living on extra time. And ever since then, I should have been killed many, 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 many times. And ever since then, LAPD has still, still been fucking with me. When I haven't done anything but work my ass off, not be a criminal, not too bad to this city, but LAPD sees me a certain way. LAPD sees me like this. They see me as a fucking threat. Because what? Why do they see me as a fucking threat? Because I'm not white? Because I talk animated? Because I know what the fuck I'm talking about? When I tell them they're motherfuckers, who are useless and who haven't done shit for me or the city, right? But they don't like it. They don't like it when you treat them the way they treat everybody else. You don't, you don't understand LAPD. You have harbored lots of bad will, lots of bad, lots of bad, 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 bad karma in the city of angels. And the citizens hate you motherfuckers because you don't do shit. You don't protect the law-abiding citizens and the criminals. You make them worse because you go bully those motherfuckers and, and then guess what they do afterwards? They go fuck with law-abiding citizens. LAPD, you worthless motherfuckers. All of you. All of you do no good. Absolutely no good. These motherfuckers had no options. But they still wanted a power trip. So they bring out eight officers. Big officers. Because I'm such a threat. I was acting so out of control. Wanting to get my babies, my, my two knives that they illegally confiscated when they illegally, unjustly arrested me, a.k.a. kidnapped me for the fourth time. And when I'm down there trying to get my babies because I was protecting the neighborhood, what they should have been doing, and I was attacked with a deadly weapon, and I got arrested, and uh, then I was... I don't know what they call it, battery, when a motherfucker threw a f my phone at me, was shattered. And then I guess they call it another simple battery, when a motherfucker tried to hit me with his fist twice. But I was the one who was in handcuffs, both my, my arms, handcuffed behind my back, taken to LAPD, and as I'm taken, Officer Ortiz says to me, hey man, you know, you got to calm down. Your charges aren't going to stick. It's going to be a DA reject. I was already telling him that. I didn't need him to tell me that. I was telling him that. Hey, I shouldn't be arrested. The city attorney ain't going to follow charges. He, he, why are you doing this? Why are you arresting me? I'm not the criminal. I called you guys. Why are you arresting me? Why? This is unjust. This is... That's what I kept on seeing in the patrol car. 
kept on saying, I'm recording. I'm, I'm, I'm sweating in the patrol car because I'm in the back of the patrol car, handcuffed, wow. after being assaulted with a deadly weapon. And all I can say to him is, That's out of control. That's out of control. That's ranting and raving. That's what they were saying I was doing in the lobby when they came seven strong, plus a shotgun, put handcuffs on me, and then take me to the back. And I'm like, am I being arrested? And like, no. My name is Sergeant Day. Like, good day. I'm like, good day. You must hate your job. He's like, why? I'm like, because you're a police officer. And you're doing this. I'm not being arrested. He's like, no, 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 you're being detained. We're detaining you at 5150. We're worried about you. We love you here at the LAPD. So we're handcuffing you, holding you against your will because you were here wanting justice help. Motherfucker, you're a fucking Mexican. You ain't worth shit, motherfucker. So shut the fuck up while we power trip. And then I say to him, You guys are doing this again. You shouldn't be doing this. I look over at an officer and he's an officer. I'm like, Hey, what, what are you, Korean? Officer Day, Sergeant Day says to me, That's racist. Wanted to get under my skin so I could say the wrong thing, and they could charge me, charge me, terroristic threats, charge me, charge me, terroristic threats, charge me, charge me, terroristic threats. I end up in downtown jail, holding cell, 55 degrees. Who knows what happens there? But who knows what? Because even when I was there, when I was in the jail, I kept on telling them they were motherfuckers, that they were pussies, that they were heartless, that they weren't shit. A motherfucker up at the top tier yells to another in inmate, you ain't gonna act like this in my house. I yell from the bottom, hey motherfucker, this ain't your house. This is our house. The citizens of Los Angeles paid for this fucking house, paid for your salary, paid for your pension, and pension. for your pension and benefits. So you can have a house of your own, but not here, not at the jail holding station, motherfucker. So bad experience after bad experience after bad experience after bad experience when I should have been there. I should not have been there. And yet, then they want to fuck with me at the station. And when they have no, no options, they, they, they can't. They can't bullshit arrest me, so they have to fucking say, ah, we care for you. 5150. And then they handcuff me, and they, they, they tell me, okay, let's handcuff him to the bench right there. Turn against the wall. Don't even sit the right way. Turn against the wall, motherfucker. Stare at the wall. I'm like, this is mental warfare. You guys are trying to fuck with me more, but now you guys are trying to fuck with me mentally, having me stare at the wall in a little fucking space where I, I feel subhuman. They're like, no, no, no. You're wrong. We care about you, and if you were sitting the right way, you, you might trip an officer, and you might you might get hurt. So we're looking out for you by having you start the wall. I'm like, all right, how long is this fucking bullshit gonna take? How much longer are you guys gonna violate my civil rights? Officer Yi comes out and says, not much longer. I'm like, thank you, Officer Lee, for agreeing with me. You've violated my civil rights. He pops out again. He's like, no, 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 no. I didn't say that. I said, yes, you did. Thank you. He walks in. Another officer shot. Came to, all these officers wanted to sit and talk to me. So maybe I could say the wrong thing. Ah, maybe. Because they were really friendly. Officer shot comes and says, he's like, can I talk to you? I'm like, what's your name? Shot. Yeah, officer shot. Like, shot. I'm like, shot? Like a taser? Like, shot? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you're useless. Shock, you, you, you're useless. 
You see my civil rights are being violated and you ain't doing shit. He's like, ah, this motherfucker's not for me. Might as well not talk to him. He got up, kept on moving. Every time he would walk by, big, every time he walked by, he walked by, the after the 10th time, I'm like, I'm like, Mr. Shock, your, your shock is wearing off. These motherfuckers don't understand that high stress, high stress is all about me. Every day I'm high stress. So I maintain in high stress situations. So I'm waiting every two hours. I'm like, yeah, well, what's going on? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, they're coming from downtown. We're sending somebody who's going to evaluate you because we care about you as you're handcuffed there, staring against the wall, mental warfare, because we're at war with you, an American citizen in the city of angels. We're warring with you, motherfucker, and we're going to fuck with your mind, because how dare you come in here and tell us what we are. So I'm like, all right, all right, motherfuckers. All right, okay, fine, I'll play your game. All right, all right. Hey, I need to spit. Can somebody help me? Officer Lee comes out. Hey, okay. Man, I'm gonna spit on me, how are you? I'm like, why would I spit at you? I'm like, okay, I'll get a cup. I'm like, eh, eh. <laughs> spit in that cup. Am I retarded? Am I stupid? Do I know they're gonna test that? Yeah, motherfuckers, test away because... I wanted you to test. I want you to see that I'm clean. There's nothing in my system but weed. Lots of weed. And resentment for the injustice that I have suffered. That's what's in my system. So then finally, after like two hours, these motherfuckers get here from downtown. I'm like, hey, you're here to give me back my civil rights. And one black officer says, the black officer, officer who comes with the social worker. He's like, I'm here to help you. I'm like, motherfucker, how can you help me? If you're part of this shit, you're saying I'm crazy. My name is Luis Neve. I said my social security number, I said my driver.